Hello children, two weeks ago we have heard the Bible story on how God guided his people, the Israelites, by a cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. And we also learned that God's word, the Bible, is like a lamb to our path wherever we go. Today we are going to watch a video to help us to review the Bible lesson that we have learned two weeks ago. Have you ever been lost? The Israelites didn't get lost because they had two things to lead them. Many years had passed since Pharaoh's daughter had found Moses in the basket by the edge of the river. While Moses lived with his family, his parents taught him to know and love God. When he was about 12 years old, he went to live with the Pharaoh's daughter in the king's palace. Moses had grown to be a wise man and God had chosen him to lead the Israelites away from the cruel Pharaoh in Egypt to a better land. When the Israelites left Egypt, they crossed the Red Sea and soon found themselves in a desert. What is a desert like? It's very hot and dry and full of sand, very hot during the day and very cold at night. Wild animals lived there, and even Moses wasn't sure which way they were to go. But God had a special plan to keep them safe and to make sure they wouldn't get lost. God led them in a wonderful way. During the daytime, the Israelites could see above them a huge cloud rising up like a pillar into the sky. When the cloud moved forward, the Israelites moved with it, for God was in the cloud leading them. But the cloud did more than just to show them where to go. During the heat of the day, the cloud gave the Israelites shade to keep them cool. It protected them from the burning sun. But at night, when it was cold and dark, a cloud wasn't much good. Then the Israelites needed light and warmth. And that's when the huge cloud became a pillar of fire. The fire gave them light at night. It also helped to keep them warm in the cold desert and it scared away the wild animals that might try to hurt them too. God had come up with the perfect way to protect and lead his people. Day or night, the Israelites could always see that God was leading them and keeping them safe. They knew he was protecting them and they praised him for his care. We can thank God. During those days, they traveled thousands of miles from Egypt to the Promised Land. So now, Let's take a look from a clearer view on part of the route that they took during the wilderness journey. As you can see from Google Earth that the surface was quite bare in the desert. You can hardly see any trees or buildings or any landmarks around the desert. But God loves his people and God was with them all the time. God even assured his protection upon his children by sending them a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. God was with them wherever they go. Do you know that the Israelites took about 40 years around the wilderness before reaching Canaan? 
and God faithfully showed them the way all along the 40 years on the right path to take. In other words, God's, God was with them all the time. Children, do you know that when we have accepted Jesus as our personal Lord and Saviour, His Spirit dwells in us too. When we are God's children, He will send His Spirit to be with us all the time. And He will send us help whenever we do not know what to do. And how do we do that? Through the reading of His Word. So let's say the PowerPoint message together. The Bible helps us when we don't know what to do. Hi children, we have been learning that God's word like a light. We direct our path during dark times. Now the key is to have God's word with you at all times so that you will may never be caught off guard by life's trouble. So this would be really hard if that means having to physically carry a Bible everywhere. Thankfully, we can learn and remember God's Word and allow it to guide us no matter where we are. So let's conduct an experiment. Pretend that this light from the torch represent the word of God. And these two bags are the two ways of God's words with us. Okay, the light inside this black plastic bag. And look at the light that doesn't go through. The light that represents God's words can't even see. Okay, now I put in another bag. Okay, this bag is also has God's word in it. So can you see the light? Yes, it is so bright. It is so bright that it can guide anyone who is lost. Children, yeah, from the experiment, we can see that we not only need to know the Word of God, but we must also have a personal relationship with Him. Don't be like the bag that hides the lights. Instead, Jesus said, Be the light for other people so that they will see the good thing you do. Matthew 5 verse 16 So, don't be shy about your faith. The Word of God, the light that is in you, is exactly what other people need to see in order to find their way. Thank you, children. guided the people of Israel along the Exodus journey. Do you know what kids? God is still guiding me and you through the reading of his word. Remember the memory verse that we have learned? 
for the whole of three weeks. His word, God's word, is a lamp unto our feet and a light to our path. When we read God's word and we know we are able to know him better and we will be guided by God to do the right thing, to do things that pleases God. So next week we won't be having any video lessons. Please read up Exodus chapter 13 verses 17 to 22. Teacher hope you will enjoy your quiz next week. And don't forget to screenshot your scoring for the quiz and send it to your small group teacher for one bonus sticker. See you again in two weeks time.